welcome all of you. My name is Maria Konjelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. And we, of course, talking about art and paintings. With, Al with us is Alan Mack calling to us from Poznan. Alan, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Hello, hello. And we continue our story of a uh, strange group or interesting group called Young, Talented and Sexy. Alan is one of the members of this group. And what I would like to know is a little bit to know about your beginning, since it, all the group are students who are studying right now art and or another, another artistic way of expression. But the question is always interesting. Uh, how did you make this decision to to choose a, a very unstable and uncertain path of being an artist. After all, it's not a career of a lawyer or, or of a doctor. Uh, I'm from an um, art family, let's say. And uh, when I was a young kid, I didn't want to, um, to, to draw or paint. I didn't want to, um, to do arts, uh, but then I, when I was uh, about 10 or 11 years old, I started to learn architecture drawing. And that was very, very nice uh, for me. It was a pleasure to, to draw architecture. That was the beginning of my adventure with uh, arts. Uh, so we can say that your parents, sorry for interrupting, but your parents were your, uh, your inspiration, yes? Yeah, at some point, of course, yeah, because I was uh, by my parents who were doing some stuff at uh, at the studio, at the atelier. That was the point. <laughs> and what are they I doing, was... if you can tell us? Are they painters, sculptors? What's the genre? They, they do different uh, things, but mainly painting. So you were surrounded by pictures and paintings since your infancy. And uh, then uh, it kind of takes you in when we were 12 or 10, as you say. Growing up with uh, all of these uh, paintings, all of, uh, all of the paint smell, even in home at home. So that was, uh, <laughs> that was a normal, let's say, but I liked that. So at least uh, you didn't need to rebel against your parents of you know don't be not becoming a doctor, for example, or <laughs> getting some other novel pursuit, a um, very stable one, but uh, go deciding for this path, artistic path, which after all is difficult. Uh, did you have any problems of getting the acceptation and going to the Academy of Fine Arts in Warsaw? After all, there are many people who who want to be, who want to become artists. Well, uh, when, when I was attending the, uh, the Academy of Fine Arts, uh, the pandemic started, so it was very chilly <laughs> because no one knew how to, how to do the exams through online, uh, through, through the internet online or at the place. I was thinking about that a lot, but finally it ended up uh, by using a portfolio uh, paintings, drawings, and uh, and uh, speech um, with the professors, and uh, it ended up that I I am now a student, so every, everything uh, went smoothly. Went, went went very very good. Well, congratulations for that. Yeah. The pandemic, of <laughs> course, uh, is a challenge for all of us when it comes to especially education. Uh, but um, it seems like you've managed to do it. And tell us a little bit, a few words about your future and how is to be uh, a young artist in Warsaw. Uh, do you have, I don't know, grand plans to go abroad or do you rather stay in Poland? And how do you feel altogether about your future? I am not, I'm not concerned about my future. I think that it is a very nice adventure to be an artist, uh, I wouldn't like to be a lawyer or, or a doctor because uh, I think I would be bored most of the time. And I think that being an artist is not a job; it's just uh, it's just being yourself. Uh, so when I paint, I don't uh, think I'm 
working at all. Well, fingers crossed for you that you managed to keep the space and the champ. I mean, positive uh, look uh, for the future of in the, in the coming years. And thank you very much for being with us. And to all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily, if you, if yourself are thinking of becoming artists, or maybe your kids are trying to make this decision, then here you have an example that um, at least when you're doing something which is your passion, then you definitely wanted to continue it. And uh, so we will also continue the story about young, talented, and sexy in the next episode. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you.